Hi guys, this is Hyunmin Max, aka Max. Welcome back to another video on the channel. So for today, we'll actually be doing a review on Julian Alvarez. He has high high work rates, right, along with uh, four star skill moves and five star weak foot. So right off the bat, right, um, I see the high high work rates, right. It means that he might make a good camp, right. So let's see. He can also play on the right wing, left wing, as well as a center forward. So his pace split is pretty good, right? 94 acceleration with uh, 87 sprint speed, right? Attack positioning and finishing are both at 90, right? Very good shot power at 93. He has very good um, vision and shot passing as well, both at 88, along with uh, 85 long pass. So like I mentioned previously, right? Along with the high high work rates, he might he might make a decent camp. Uh, he has 92 agility with 92 balance, great reaction at 88. Uh, very good composure at 90. Stamina is at 88. So he's not exactly the strongest at um, with his strength at being at 75. So he has the finesse short trade as well as the outside foot short trade. Both uh, are OP traits. So we're actually going to be applying a hunter chemistry style on him. right? We're actually going to um, max out the pace as well as increase the uh, finishing and the shot power. This is the team that will be rocking him in, right? We'll mainly be playing him in um, two positions, right? He will he will be playing striker for us as well as camp because as I mentioned, right, his high high work rate along with his uh, 88 vision and 88 pass uh, shot passes, right, might actually stand him in good state. And we'll also be playing him in two formations, the 4-2-3-1 as well as the 3-5-2, right? We'll, we'll first try him out in the striker position. And then when I when I switch him over to Cam, right, I will let you guys know, right. So let's let's see, right, whether he's worth the coins because he's actually two point one million on the market. So um, it might just be hype, you know, because he's a very good player in real life. Let's actually see whether he's worth two point one million. Let's try out Zidane and uh, Gabby. Right, Alvarez. Let's try out his dribbling. Wow, his dribbling is very smooth, chat. Look at this. Woo! Did you guys see that? Alvarez winning a penalty. Like, in the first minute. Alvarez is right-footed. Wasn't that great, I guess. Alright, Alvarez. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, thanks for the sub, Snobby Beat. How am I gonna do the review, chat? Alvarez. It should be. How am I gonna do the review? It's almost the perfect setup, right? Alvarez, Gavi for Alvarez. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Great opportunity. Whew. Yes, it's been a really energetic display from them so far. The All right, Alvarez with that one-two. Yep, let's go. Alvarez, first goal, chat. Let's go. Zidane! Right, Alvarez. Good ball to Zidane. Alvarez, let's go. Second goal for Alvarez, chat. I think this guy has had enough. And it's hard to do much better than that. It's Stuart Robson. And what we have on the menu is when he gets one v one. We'll do it after this game, yeah. He usually scores. Well, Alvarez with that um perfect ball to Zidane. That's why I say he might be able to play Cam. Alright, Alvarez. Let's go! Alvarez is pretty good, chat. Alvarez is pretty good. Like, he's very, very quick. He's very, very fast. His dribbling is fantastic as well. But those are the two things um, right off the bat that I really enjoy about him. Right, what a pass. What a pass by Alvarez. 
Let's go, chat. Second goal. Let's go. I'm afraid that this guy will quit, chat. So I really like um Alvarez, his movement, right? He does he does actually come short quite a lot. Let's go, Alvarez. Alvarez with the assist, chat. I don't I don't have enough coins to buy him. Right, Alvarez with a good ball out to Ribery. Let's go, chat. Let's see it. Okay. Wow, the gameplay is starting to feel a bit heavy, guys. So as you guys can see, right, Alvarez has that check back, you know, that drop deep. Um. I dropped the a AI to him. In centre backs, right? Something that you don't really see in the central midfielders. And still looking to get the shot off. Could be. Oof. Well, they have the opposition at bay. Right, Alvarez with the run. What a run by Alvarez and what a ball by Zidane. Zidane! Zidane. GG's bro. Let's go, let's go. Zidane! I mean, every player wants to play for Barca and Real, right? Mossy, do you have do you have any idea, right, how to get the controller thing up on screen? Alvarez, two two zero, let's go. Let's go, let's go. For the next um remaining three games with Alvarez, right, we'll be playing him as the cam, right, and let's see how he plays. Look at the dribbling from Alvarez, chat. Alvarez. Zinedine Zidane. Right, Alvarez. Right, good pass to Capovia. A glorious chance. And oh. Must take the lead here. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Alvarez! Ah! Uh. I typically get like uh and I actually rage, you know. The last time I did that. Right, Alvarez. Oh, Gavi almost got his first goal. Right, Gavi. Now with Ribery. Alvarez. Alvarez, let's go. What a goal by Alvarez. Right, look at look at the look at the dribbling chat. Did you guys see? Did you guys see the dribbling from Alvarez? Hey, let's go, let's go. What an assist by Alvarez. Right, Alvarez. That four run. Well he keeps going. Alvarez. Gavi, right? Gavi doesn't really move from his central defensive uh, midfield slot. So we eventually managed to play um seven games with Alvarez, right? Uh, he has eight goals with six assists. So we tried him out in the striker position as well as the camp position. So um, let me talk about the pros of the card first. So Alvarez is really fast and his dribbling is, I would say, one of the best I've used, right? He's really smooth, really agile. I think another thing that um, surprised me as well was the fact that his passing is actually really good. Like um, some of the strikers, right, they can't really pass. But for Alvarez, his passing is really good. 
what about some of the other co- um, pros of this card, right? I think the my favorite thing about Alvarez is his attacking AI is actually really, really top tier. Right? If you guys watch the video, right? Um, it might be because of his high defensive book rate. Whenever he goes forward, right? When he, whenever he makes the run forward, right? And he doesn't get the ball, he almost immediately tracks back, which means that um, he gives you another option if you want to come short, you know? So for me, right, he, it makes him so much more involved in the play as compared to a striker who has high medium. So his Alvarez is always involved in the attacking play, whether is it um, building up the play or making that run in behind. So that is the thing that I really like about him the most. So let's talk about the cons of this card. I think the only real con that I have is probably two things. Number one is his strength at 75, right? He's probably not going to win your physical duels against your opponent's center halves. Alright, so um, the second con of Alvarez, right, it's actually the price tag at 2.1 mil. So he's actually really good. Um, if I were to put him in the tier list, right, we have S, A, B, and C, right? He's definitely in the S tier, right? Uh, but is he worth 2.1 M? Probably not. Um, let me actually suggest to you guys some of the alternatives, right? We still have the <coughs> Mane SBC out for another 20 odd days. So I think the both of them play pretty similar in game. But um Mane only has four star weak foot, right? So you might it might show. But Mane's attacking AI is fantastic as well. And the key thing is he's only 600k, right? Alvarez is 2.1 mil. Of course I understand there are different leagues, but both of them can play striker. Yeah, so um Pushkas is another card that actually plays really similar to um Alvarez. Right, he has 4 star skill moves with a 3 star weak foot. Um, you might feel that weak foot difference right, between 3 star and 5 star, but Puskas, um, his finishing, right, it's actually one of the best in game right, because he has that like 96 shot power. His, his shots are really, really powerful, so <clears throat> this is an alternative. He's cheaper as well. And then we have uh, Cruyff, right? Mid Cruyff, who is at the similar price point of uh, Alvarez, and he's 5 star, 5 star instead, right? So that 5 star skill move might be a little bit better. We also have uh, Neymar Inform at 900k, half the price of Alvarez. 5 star, 5 star as well. So all these are actually cards that play similar to Alvarez. That it's a bit cheaper. And we also have Harlan, right? I just wanted to point out that um, I would definitely take Alvarez over Harlan. Because Harlan is a totally different kind of striker. But you know, for comparison's sake, right? I'm just putting him here. So I actually also want to mention that uh, we tried Alvarez out in the camp position and um, I, like, I like his movement there, right? Uh, not, not every um, striker can play as a camp. I mean, not every striker can play the camp role very well and I think um, Alvarez does it decently, right? But I would still prefer him as the striker through the middle instead of being a camp, right? So... Um, that's it from me, right? If you guys have uh, enjoyed the video, right? Do drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon, right? Take care, guys.